I am eligible. I'm going to get it. Yeah, I'm going to get it. It's cool. It's got a lot of stuff on that we use. Like, yeah. your, like your mom. Mm. Just... Hey, welcome back to our stupid racks. We'll go to them. I just want to... Hey, tell them. Come in. Shut up. Quit up. Today. Uh, we got a casting game. Don't put your finger in there. Uh, a casting game. Okay. Yeah, we've done awesome. many of We these. have done these before. Thank you for whoever put this together. Thank you so much. If you'd like to make this game, not asking you to make this game, but people like to send us games, you can send the email in the description of every single video. Yep. Um, uh, the rules in this one, in each slide, you'll be asked whom you would cast an iconic Tarantino, Tarantino character. Okay. Amongst Indian actors. Nice. Both of you can have different choices or agree on one choice. No. In the next slide, I put them uh, who I would cast in a uh, similar character. Awesome. Try to cast from every industry. Of course. Make it as diverse as possible. You bet. No. Let's do it. I'm only going to pick Ranveer Let's... Singh. Ranveer Singh only. <laughs> For every role ever in the history of man. Um, do. The casting game. The casting game. game. We're going to do it now. Yep. Uh, the most important thing, especially if we were being hired by Quentin to cast something, would be how attractive are the feet. This is a criteria for Quentin that nobody really understands, but feet are measure immeasurably important to Quentin Tarantino. Uh, and uh, who will have the biggest box office draw? Of well, course. that too. That's yeah. be my, I mean, that'd be my main criteria. Most of the things I heard him in an interview say, when I sit down to write something, what matters to me most before I put pen to paper is, dear God, how can this make money? Okay. You already said that. Yeah. Okay. So what roles or are we just, okay. okay. So who would play It's so difficult Django? because this one's so I know. American, so, so uh, on the on the slavery issue in America, as so, are like a, a ton of Quentin's films are deeply American, like yeah, their themes and their so, stories. It's not a film that really could be remade uh, unless you change no, so much. No, you'd have to but, change a lot. Let's so just the let's let's not think about the story as much as we think about the personality just, of the okay, character, okay. right? Jamie Fox, great actor. So you have to have somebody with, with a lot of swag, who's obviously a very versatile actor as well, though. Great note about, he talked about when he <laughs> he came in the first day to film, you've seen that, when he first came in to play Django, he, and, and this is from Jamie's own words, he says, I came in and I'm like, -da 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 -da. Quentin says, Cut, come here, Jamie. And he takes him to the side and he goes, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> you're, you're, you can't play him like Jamie Foxx, this guy, this guy is a, a slave. You, could, you, you can't be so cool, stop it. He's like, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good note, though. It is a great uh, note. It's a good note. Very good note. Um, <laughs> All right. And he probably did it in a really good uh, Quentin impression because he is one of the best impressionists. My stars I've ever is Jamie Foxx. He's just a really talented. He's probably one son of the most well-rounded. The dude art, could, like artists of all time. Truly, truly. Singing, he, he's acting, a, he's a unicorn. Like, yeah. he's incredible. So anyway, um, it would do well in Indian cinema do it all yeah that's true uh this is difficult <sighs> what the, the thing i'm having a hard time wrapping my head around is disassociating character from story because yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. it's this, so this one's so difficult because it's it's a it's a black character playing slavery so in america let's put this into a film where it's it's pre-47 and it's similar in the sense it's the, it's rather than the Americans with black people as slaves, it's the British with the Indians, because that's not too far removed about the treatment. Okay. That helps me. Um, um, it, it had to be somebody that can bring, um, obviously, later on in the film, a lot of swag, obviously, when he's a lot more confident, but could also... Right. Fafa, obviously, comes to mind. It has to be somebody that's a, an extremely talented actor. Um, you know who I think could do it? Hmm. Danush. Yes. I like that casting. Yep. I'm going to agree with you there. I think Danush could definitely do that. Hey! hey! 
Okay, nice All one. All right. Hey, free drinks for everybody. <laughs> you guys too. Nice. Hey, stop smoking. Nice call there. That's a good one. Yeah, that's a that's a very good casting. Um, that would be interesting to uh, kind of adapt Django. You'd have to completely change the entire story, but kind of keep some of the elements of it, but put it in a different yeah, setting. Yeah, if you do it pre-47, it's there's it, some stories like it, you could it, do. It, it would the, be a completely different film. Of course. <laughs> but of course. Yeah, because it's it's I, it's, it's, it's almost <laughs> it's not just it's not just focused in the, the, uh, the slavery, but it's the South. Mm. It, it's just it's so American. Hey, call me India if you want to do a remake. I'll be uh, uh You know who could write a remake for this? Abdul Kulkarni, just talk to me. Talk to me. That guy could make a remake of. I think he could take any American film and Indianize it. I'll be. Um, uh, it had to be like a. Uh, who plays Christoph Waltz's character? Probably a British guy. Oh yeah. It had to be some type of British guy. Mark Bennington. No, me. Okay, yeah, me. Calvin Candy, you're not Indian. No, if. This character wouldn't be Indian. Oh, that's true. He'd be British. He'd be British. Me. <laughs> you can't cast an Indian in that character. No, you can't. So me. I'm voting for Corbin as well. <laughs> I would cast Corbin as, as that character. I would play this character. Yeah. I'm not giving any white actor in India this role. I agree. Role. <laughs> because it Corbin wouldn't Miles. be an Indian. Nope. Nope. It wouldn't make sense. Doesn't make sense at all for it to be Fafa. If you're, if you're, if you're, it has to be the oppressor, and the oppressor has to be. I mean, we can't disassociate the characters from story. Sorry, yeah, no, we're no, no, we're sorry. legalists that way. Sure, Fafa could absolutely kill any role that he's ever given. Correct, but but uh, no. in in the story that we're creating here, no. Uh, me, <laughs> so that we both work in the film. Okay, so this person is asking if all these are Indian, even though that that wouldn't make sense for the story. No, it doesn't make sense for the story. But this, the kind of actor that could portray this type of character. Um, Shahid's dad, maybe? Maybe I'm just uh, equating the beard too much. Maybe. He's a great actor. I was going to say, uh, you know, the other thing is, he has to be somebody that you sense thinks his way out of things and talks his way out of things, doesn't fight his way out of things. So, like, say, you know, Mahanlal doesn't work because he he conveys so much strength and power. You would expect him. It's like, why aren't you fighting your way out of this? Me personally, that would be my take on it. Nah, I, I could see Mahmoud in it though. Uh, I I mm. VJ Raz. Yeah, I guess. Uh, yeah, but age-wise, he's... Django, Django might be the most difficult one. Yeah. <laughs> but age-wise there... Yeah, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so this one would make, uh, I guess, more sense because it, it would be an Indian uh, in the story that we're creating, but it would be uh, somebody that's basically along with the British. Um, I, I forget what they were called, but um, that were on the side of the British, but we're Indians. Um, great character, by the way. Um, you can do Nawaz or Pankaj. That's that's what I thought of, but I feel like there's somebody else. Um, hmm. Got to be a little bit older. This is my favorite Quentin film, by the way. Can't argue with that. It's my favorite Quentin the film. The climax is worth the price of admission, man. Um, it's so freaking good. It's also his, I th it might be his best paced film. Mm. It's also, um, in my opinion, Leo's best performance as well. Yeah, he's he's phenomenal in that film. Um, that's so hard. I'm going to stick to what she said. <laughs> Who are you sticking to? Nawaz. I'm gonna You're picking Nawaz? Nawaz. Yeah. I was leaning Nawaz, so let's say Nawaz. Oh. Oh, lol. That's a... I get it. Totally get it. Yeah. Uh, 
Yeah, so, no, I like that. That's good. And I like, thank you for referencing the adaptation, I didn't know that existed, of King Lear. I'm in. Yeah, that'd be cool. <laughs> good call. Who's that? Uh, my heart just broke a little. <laughs> I'm trying to remember who he was in the film. Who's this? No, just do you know who the actor is? Uh, no, who's that? Oh. Who's that? It's Franco Nero. I know, it says it right there. It's Lancelot and Camelot. I've never seen Camelot. <laughs> uh, so I'm just going to say Mark Bennington <laughs> oh, Sorry Mark You do not have those eyes Yeah That works The I, Riz I actually don't remember The Riz character. and the, the, the sex appeal Yeah that's a good call Okay Okay Pulp Fiction Whew, This is a little easier I think My uh, film I actually feel like is overrated and the note says to cast young versions of current legends in the roles because we would cast it in 1997 when it came out. Okay. Um, okay. So my, I think what, the most overrated Quentin film, by the way. Okay. This is in the 90s. Well, you know who it would be fun to have put in that role in the 90s? Hmm. King Kong. Shah Rukh. Shah Rukh. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Oh, Govinda. that oh, would work too. That would be a cool one. That that would work too. I like that one. I uh, could Joel. Most of our '90s answers are going to be Hindi. We've seen more '90s stuff from Hindi, so sorry if this is too '90 centric. I'm gonna lean Karina for the weird. I mean. Kajol can be weird too, but I think Karina can be weirder. So I'm leaning Karina Kapoor. I disagree. Kajol. Oh, Julie okay, Jawa. cool. Nice. That's, I yep. like it. Uh, I would still pick Kajol. Yeah. Okay. Okay, 90s. <sighs> that is just, that's just one of the, that role. Um, <laughs> I'd like to see what Anupam Kerr would have done with that role. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm with you. Uh, I want it. I want to see it. Uh, or see. So not what I would be thinking. Or see if Salman could do something with it. Just for, like throw him out of, no. his, in, in, out of his element in the Anupam Kerr <laughs> is gold. To see him in that role, that would be so great i can't not think about that <laughs> yeah uh back then okay so were you saying only cast people in the 90s or just saying you can pick anybody but if it's but if you of can, any time period okay that's why okay. they okay then yes so, yeah. of course then yes BJ of course Ross would but we were keeping our brains on who would be castable in, in the, the mid 90s, 90s. okay yeah. so yeah. if yeah. it's everybody i guess that opens it up so. yeah yeah uh but yeah, of course vj ross would be amazing Rams. Honestly, I don't remember this character in this film. Uh, Salman Khan. I'm fine with it. Yeah. Oh, oh. that too. Great. Now that'd be better. That, now that's actually better. You, you better. made a better choice. Okay. Uh, God bless you, Bruce. Brucey Bruce. Um, that could be Salman Khan as well. Yeah, I wouldn't mind Salmon in that role. Yeah! Yay! There you go. Yes. Oh. Might be my second favorite uh, Quentin film. Killing Nazis. <laughs> I want 100 Nazis. You know, scouts. that could have been so, that could have been the thing in the movie that made people go, ugh, get him off the screen. That could have really not worked for Pitt. And he made it work. One of my favorite performances of yeah, him. Yeah, he might. made it work. He's actually given since he's not since he's gone away from the um, uh, leading man roles. Yep, and more character. I've liked him a lot. Did more. you do you remember the movie Babylon? Yeah, I remember watching that film. I don't remember who I was with when I was watching it, but I thought, good for you, man, because it was the first time he did a film where he allowed himself to look his age and he got past the 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 sex symbol looks. Uh, he's made some good choices in that regard. Now. To play that character. 100 Nazi scabs! You know who they wanted to play um, the bear Jew? Oh, yeah. Um, Which I would have loved. I would have loved. 
It's a hit. Adam Sandler. Yeah, Adam Sandler. Oh, that would have been amazing. Would have been great. Uh, obviously, I think uh, what's his face, uh, okay, Eli so, Roth, did a, did a good job. But. So Aldo the Apache played by. This is so difficult because again, such an American film. Yeah. One, Vicky. Automatically. Uh, yeah, he's got definitely the range. You'd have to bring a lot of comedy for sure. Renvier, I think, could have done it. Yeah. Um, it, it'd be a stretch for all of them because it was it's such a unique role. It was a stretch for Pitt um, when he did it. Um, so they'd have to have their own kind of take on it. But um, This one's hard. I'm sticking with Vicky. I'll go, I'll go with you. Oh, I like it. I like that. I like it. I like that too. We're gonna go with Vikram. Yeah. Well, that's your choice is the best. Okay. Uh, um, I have a couple of choices immediately that come to mind for her character. Okay. Um, I think the most obvious one, and I don't see how you could disagree, would be Radhika Apte. Yeah, I want to pick somebody different though. I know. Uh, so we don't always pick the same people. Um, oh, I got, yeah, I know. Hmm. Parvati. Yeah, that's our second, usually, no. <laughs> but she she's right for the role. Yeah, she is. Uh, I'm, that, that's my choice, is, is Parvati. Yeah, Parvati or Radhika is a good choice, I agree. Samantha mm -hmm. is another That's great, a good choice. Yeah. Um, yeah, like I said, there was a, a, several that came to mind immediately. I wish I had a list of all of the actors in like, front of me, and I'm like, okay, let's we should oh, have, no, should be good. We should have a big, like, just cutout thing here with all these thumbnails actors, of all the, everybody. Yeah. yeah, the industries, the actors, the writers, directors, so we could reference it. Yeah, it's Again, Christoph Waltz. One of the most great performances of all time. Of all time. Um, it's such a great performance. Uh, this and Django. Um, you, you need a legend... Bankaj comes to mind. Yeah, you need somebody um, with a quiet intensity. Um, like a Pankaj, like a Nawaz. I think Mamoudi would be yes. really interesting in the role. I'm going with that. Mamouts? Yeah. Mamoudi would be fantastic because he has that quiet intensity yeah. and volatility, which is so great because the, the absence of that power that's in Django's character for Christoph Waltz, who comes across as a guy who has to talk his way out of things, yeah. he comes across as a guy who any minute is going to flip a switch and put a bullet in your head. Um, yeah. I mean, Fafa, of course, would do it as yeah. well. Yeah. But I'm trying to... Yeah, yeah. And no, 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 no doubt. That's yeah. without question. Think of his, well, yeah, Ludo. Uh, you need, you need a, a, a legend. Uh, With quiet intensity. Um, yeah. To do it. Okay. Oh, this is an interesting. I think Schwostika could do it. Good um, call. Could do that role. Uh, uh, what's her name? That we saw. Um, who was? Who was? Um, uh, I always mispronounce her name. Is it Jotika? That is the correct one, but I'm thinking of Shorbita. Shorbita, yeah, Shorbita could could do it as well. Yeah. Um, is there somebody from? Another industry that we haven't really. I don't know, but that's sure, that's my choice. Okay, Serbita. Anushka Sharma. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, absolutely. I think there's a bunch of people that could do that role. Yep. Ooh. <laughs> um, such a great cast. Yeah, it's a great film. Um. Danush could have done this. Um, Let's give Dolker Salman a shout out. Dolker. Yeah. Yeah, Dolker could Dulker. have done it. I like Dolker in this role. Um, it's so hard because they're he's so German. I know. Um, <laughs> Again. <laughs> he looks so German. You can't, you can't make this an Indian film. Uh, yeah, you have <laughs> you to can't. completely change the you entire film. You have to change film. history. It's yeah. just... You can't um, cast Indians. A lot of Quentin films have to do with some part of history a lot of times. And American history. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I absolutely. Sure. Yeah. She, she could yeah. absolutely do it. Okay. All right. Who's going to be, obviously. Yeah, who's going to be Uma Thurman? Uma. Let me think. I'm not going to say Radhika, even though I want to. All right. I've got somebody I've got. But just know. 
I want to. And let you go. I've already got my choice. The queen of Indian cinema. Uh, uh, it's, it's also was around early 2090s-ish. Yeah, I don't remember. I think it would scare us to know uh, so how far back it was. But I'm just saying. The taboo have been too old. All time. I don't think we need to. I think we can change age, whatever we need to do to make it work. Who are you thinking? Kulki Caitlin. Yeah, she definitely could do it. Absolutely. Um, God, I wish I had a list of all the actresses in front of me. You get the one off your bedroom wall. Let me see here. Indian. Talk amongst yourselves. Says, oh, Topeka could definitely do this role. Sure. Absolutely. Uh... I like the. Ooh, Nain Tara. Absolutely do it. Um, yeah, Dapika would be great in this role. Congrats again on your little baby girl. Yeah, I'm going to go Dapika. There you go. Yep. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I want to watch this again. <laughs> I actually like volume two a little more. It was a little more fast paced. Yeah. Um, but this is great. Ah, uh, okay. You know, you mentioned her a second ago. You know who I would love to see play this kind of character? Mm. Taboo. Mm. I would love to see her play this kind of character. To just be unhinged. Yeah. Um, and have a fight sequence, like their fight sequence. Yeah, that'd be good. Oh, I love that fight sequence. I think so. If you haven't seen this movie, you should see Kill Bill Volumes 1 and 2. Video? Some of my favorite of Quentin's Video films. could also do it, I think. Yeah. Oh! oh that's perfect! There's a good casting. Perfect. You've, you've thought about these better than we have. Or that is... get on the spot, though. That's perfect. That's a great one. Yeah. Uh, Ronnie. Sure. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, and she is intense. Yeah, I, I like it. That's a good call. Lucy Liu. She was that old. too. I mean, we've all, they've already cast her in something else, but Samantha would work well in that role. Um. What about that, um, who's the, um, actress in the rom-coms that we've seen from Tamil? The one with the new show oh, we just watched? Oh, um, yes, yes, yes. Uh, dang it. Nayan, such to the name. Yeah. I just want to cast Damn her. Damn it. I just want to cast her and stuff. Nayan Thada. Okay. Yeah. Lady Superstar. Sure. Yeah. Uh-huh. Um... He needs to be, okay, needs to have age, but also needs to be pretty damn flexible. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, let's assume flexibility and age appropriate for the time. Mm. I'm a tab <laughs> Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Oh, Avesham. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Nice. Yeah. Mm. BJ Ross. Yeah. <laughs> is he not old enough? But, um, yeah. That's a, that is, if there was ever a VJ Ross role. Yeah. <sighs> okay. I can't argue with Kamal anytime ever. Of course. It's Kamal. So, yeah. of course, he could do it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You could only have Quentin. <laughs> yeah. Let's just put Anurag in the role. <laughs> just let's just do Anurag. 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 He comes across as a foot sucker. <laughs> just ask Kolke. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, okay. You actually got it. Nice. Anurag was the second choice, but he didn't have an appetite for feet. We don't have him. Well, we don't have any film. As of yet. Uh, but uh, based on the breakfast we had, and I was wearing sandals, he could not stop looking under the table, let me tell you. That's funny. 
Just kidding. Uh, stay tuned. Wes Anderson. Oh, yeah. Uh, that would be that might be a little easier. It is. Um, Quentin is, is a little difficult. Yeah, Quentin is difficult. But you know what I love? Spielberg. Would be I, I, I love how... I need um, to have a full list. Of if you compare Indians and Americans as to <laughs> who's more familiar with both worlds of cinema, mm-hmm. there's just no comparison. Yeah, I mean, thing I think that goes for basically everybody around Every, the world. It's uh, true. It's true. Hollywood is world cinema. True. Um, in terms of like it's has been for a long, long time. But we also have the money to distribute everything. Correct. And people have interest in it. Whereas, and have had it for a long, long time. Whereas a lot of Americans don't have any interest in reading subtitles. With we've had great intentionality. But granted, a lot of the rest of the world also speaks English. Correct. So it's easy for them a- to exactly. watch. Exactly. And that's why it's easier for them to watch. And it's why Hollywood has had for decades and decades deep intentionality to get their films out to the world. And a lot of Indian films have no interest in going anywhere beyond India. Yeah. So that's another of the many reasons for that. But I just, I, I do love how broad a lot of Indians. Mm-hmm. understanding is of cinema and not just American cinema. There's a lot of cinephiles that are stupid babies who know they'll, I mean, I get messages sent of, did you see this film from Spain? Did you see this film from France? A lot of cinephiles. South of France has dirty pants. Anyways, uh, that was fun. That was fun. Thank uh, you for the thank game. Thank you so much for making it. If you'd like to make us a game, I'm not asking you to make this game, but if you'd like to, you can send it to the email in the description of every single video. Yeah. Let us know who you think uh, would be good in all these roles. Yes. We know we have very limited on the spot yeah. uh, catalog. Yeah. And yeah. We're sorry. Um, I need to. I need to have like a wall of actors in every industry so we can just pick them out off the wall everybody i would i've thought about making a list like that but it'd be so much better to have it in a visual field to just put the actors in each industry and the directors in each industry but yeah anyways let us know who you'd cast and anything else down below